So I'm here with Andy Erickson. We're in the N, as in Nancy Block, of Tokalong. Howdy. And uh, this is something that you started working with in 2016. You're sort of resurrecting That's the old right. Tokalong uh, winery name. And uh, tell us a little bit about this block here. It's kind of special. This block is called N2 South. And for me, it's very special because of the selection of Cabernet Sauvignon we have. So this is an old heritage selection of Cab that, I mean, the vines barely produce any fruit, which as a winemaker is pretty exciting because you want lots of concentration and lots of flavor and aroma. And if you look at these clusters, I mean, they're really pretty yeah, tiny. barely the size of your palm. So, and this is with no can, well, canopy work, yes, but we've done no fruit manipulation. This is just what the vines will set. So you see this is, that's a cluster right there. So that's, that's something. And so the yield here you said is about? I'd say about two and a quarter tons an acre. Which on the valley floor is? It's probably about half of half the normal. Of what would be normal even after controlling the, uh, the yield, so. And you're liking this fruit because the, the quality it brings you? The wines are just very dense, very aromatic, balanced, but like lots of color, lots of aromas, very classic Cabernet Sauvignon, which is really cool. And you blended it in 2017, but you're thinking about maybe keeping it separate in 2018 because it's so distinctive. 2018, we may do a yeah. standalone wine from this just because yeah. it's so exciting on its own. All right. And now where are we going to go next? We are going to go from here to the monastery blocks. And check out some. over on the other side of the property right below the old monastery. Okay, let's go. All right, so now we're in the, the monastery block, and we've got some big differences here. We can see it already. Uh, lower to the ground. Talk a little bit about this. Yeah, this so plant. this is uh, this was planted back in the '90s. So this is meter by meter. It's very closely spaced, and you can see the vines only grow to a certain height. They don't produce very much fruit. And uh, to me, the wine's always been very compelling from this block. Very dark, very black character, um, rich but very balanced. And I think it's because you know each vine here doesn't produce very much fruit, but when you put it all together, because of how many vines we have in the block, it just creates something really. Pretty special and unique. And those clusters are very different. Show us yeah, those I mean, yeah, these are, from where we were just before. These are more that's more classic. Yeah, that's more classic. I think that's clone 337, more classic Bordeaux clone. Um, but yeah, totally different situation, but also just producing something really, really interesting. And again, a lot of this was often blended together. You're starting to take yes. little bits and pieces out and separate them and see what's going on. Yeah, so we're teasing a lot of this out, making really small lots and then and then blending it back together, or maybe making a standalone wine from, you know, a few different blocks. We're not even sure yet. And then we made one, one more stop before we went to go taste. The ZZ block. Yeah, we have wider spacing here. We've split the canopy in two, so there's basically fruit on each side of the, the zone, and we've limited the number of shoots per vine. And so the vines just seem very uniform, very healthy, and pretty excited about the fruit. And how would you describe the, the quality of the fruit that you get from this, the style of the fruit? This looks more sort of classic, the, again, it's, the big clusters. It's classic and it's it's very dark and it's structured. It's maybe a little more herbaceous than some of the other plantings, but in terms of blending, it's really nice to have that component to give it a real solid, you know, varietal score. So it's a great blender.